Hi, this is Ajit here. This is a video about the Kingdom Protester. The first detailed description of protests were made in 1676 by the inventor of the microscope, a Dutch naturalist, Antony van Leeuwenhoek. He described microorganisms that he called as animalcules. Animalcule is an old term used for microscopic organisms. The conventional term protozoa came from Greek word protos, which means first and zoo, meaning animal. The term protista was first introduced in 1862 by the German biologist Ernest Haeckel to describe microorganisms that were neither clearly animal-like nor plant-like. They carried out all life functions using only organelles found in them, just like a typical eukaryotic cell. According to the present system of classification, Kingdom Protista represents a collection of polyphyletic taxa of eukaryotic and mostly unicellular organisms. Since the Kingdom Protista is so diverse, classification within the Kingdom has been a puzzling task for the scientists across the world. The classification of Protists is currently based largely on the structure and the organization of the cell and the presence of organelles and pattern of reproductive cycles. The five kingdom classification divides the protists into 27 distinct phyla. More recently, however, classification based on comparisons of cell physiology and DNA sequences suggests that many protist phyla may be large enough to be classified as kingdoms. Based on their resemblances to higher eukaryotic organisms, Protists are classified into three. One is a protist that resembles plants or plant-like protists and protist that resembles fungi or fungi-like protists or protists that resembles animals or animal-like protists. The plant-like protists, also called algal-like protists, have chloroplasts and live in moist sunny environments. They include golden algae, dinoflagellates, cryptomonads, green algae, euglenoids, and so on. There are about 12,000 species of such protists so far discovered. The fungal-like protists are mostly saprophytic and they may be unicellular or multicellular. They have characteristics of fungi and some animals. These include the water moles, slime moles, microsporidians, and so on. Animal-like protists, also called protozoa, are unicellular heterotrophs. These, mm -hmm. these include the animal-like flagellates, that is the kinetoplasta, amoeboid forms, the rhizophora and foraminifera, ciliates and suchorians, that is the ciliophora, and the parasitic spore-producing sporozoans, which includes epicomplexa. There are about 50,000 to 60,000 species of protozoans. Now we will discuss the phylum Dinoflagellata or Pyrophyta in detail. Dinoflagellates are abundantly present in marine habitat. A dinoflagellate has two unequal flagella and has both plant and animal characteristics. They often contain chloroplasts and are important primary producers of the sea. As I have said earlier, dinoflagellates are marine but a few live in freshwater habitat as well. Their chloroplasts are surrounded by three membranes and have chlorophyll A and chlorophyll C, but they completely lack chlorophyll B. The presence of xanthophyll pigment pyridine imparts a reddish brown color or golden brown color to these protists. They can occasionally become numerous in the water they live in and can cause algal bloom called red tides. When tides are formed in the sea, the tides will appear red in color, hence the name red tides. Dinoflagellates are toxic to humans, so it is not safe to eat selfish collected from red tide areas because these protists will get incorporated into the clamshell very easily and cannot be removed. After red tide, usually fishermen are advised not to collect selfish from red tide regions. Dinoflagellates have a complex skeleton called pellicle which contains cellulose deposits. Dinoflagellates typically have two flagella that are of unequal length. One flagellum is attached a short distance behind the middle of the body and is directed posteriorly 
and it lies in a longitudinal groove called the sulcus. The other flagellum is transverse and is located in another groove which is called cingulum. A contractile vacuole called pusule opens to the exterior near the base of the flagella. Dinoflagellates are bioluminescence. In these organisms, nutrition is either holozoic or holocytic. Holozoic nutrition is a heterotrophic mode of nutrition which is characterized by ingestion and internal processing of gaseous liquids, solids and food particles. In holophytic nutrition, the organism will be able to synthesize complex organic compounds by photosynthesis. Reproduction in these organisms takes place primarily by binary fission or syngamy. The syngamy involves fusion of two organisms followed by the formation of spores. About 2000 living species has been identified so far. The most important example is Noctiluca. Now we will discuss Noctiluca in detail. Noctiluca is commonly known as the sea sparkle. They occur in swamps of millions and these organisms can cause glowing of the sea. This gives Noctiluca, most specifically the most common species found, the Noctiluca scintillans, the popular name the sea ghost or the fire of the sea. The body of Noctiluca is transparent, spherical and about 1.5 mm in diameter. It is lined externally by a pellicle. The cytoplasm is highly vacuolated and differentiated into an outer ectoplasm and an inner endoplasm. The pellicle bears a groove called the cytostome from which originate two flagella. One flagella is long, stout and transversely striated and is called the tentacle. The other flagella is small and delicate. In this organism, bulk of the protoplasm is accumulated near the cytostome where the nucleus is located. The protoplasmic mass with the nucleus, flagellum and the cytostome is together called the polar mass. Noctiloca can regulate its vertical position in a water column by controlling its buoyancy. It controls the buoyancy by controlling the ionic content of its cytoplasm. In Noctiloca, nutrition is primarily by holozoic mode. As I have said earlier, holozoic nutrition is a type of heterotropic nutrition that is characterized by internalization or ingestion of food materials and the processing of liquid cases or any food material will take place internally. Noctiluca grazes on phytoplankton and zooplankton and small copy pods and fish eggs. Reproduction occurs by the asexual binary fission and also by syngamy which involves the fusion of two organisms followed by the formation of zoospores. Thank you for watching the video, hit the like button if you love the video and click the bell icon for notifications.